Hey guys, how you guys doing? My name is Tinu. If you are just tuning into my channel for the first time, I do a lot of videos, mainly beauty videos. I love perfume. I do some lifestyle videos as well. If this really interests you, please, please, please click that subscribe button. Also click the bell just so you can be notified of any new videos that I have. Today we're just going to be doing a try on video where I'm trying on all these new products that I've hauled and never used before and we're just trying to see what kind of look that I can come up with. I kind of figure out what products work and what products don't work and you guys can also be informed if a product is bad or good because as I'm using them I will kind of tell you if I like the product or not. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this look came together with the new products that I've used, then please keep on watching. So in this tutorial, we're going to be using new products, products that I've never used before. And I'm just creating a makeup look. I'm going to start out by using a nice moisturizer. I'm going to use the Sunday Ravi CEO vitamin C cream and just rubbing that into the face. I like the feel of this cream. It's so nice and moisturizing. I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows and I'm just using the Huda Beauty Balm Brows and the shade I'm using is in soft black. I'm not really loving the Huda Beauty Balm Brows, so we're gonna go ahead and take the Anastasia uh, Dip Brow Pomade. I'm just gonna use that at the tail of my brows. I really don't like the way the Huda Beauty is drawing in the tail. I prefer my tail to be a little. So I had to quickly go off camera. I, I actually redid these brows because I didn't like how they looked. They look better now. So I did my tail with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade because this is really a thin, fine line brow pencil. It is so hard to kind of get that tail to look like this. And I don't have a tail on like some of the people. Like if I had a tail, this would be functional for me. But because of that, I can only use this at like the beginning of my brows and kind of like, I like the fact that you can do like fake hairlines and it can kind of shape in your brows like that. So I'm doing that for the other side as well. See how you can like draw like your fake hair. So awesome, I like that. But I just feel like for me, this is the only thing I can use it for when it comes to my tail. I think it's not gonna work. I found a concealer that I didn't use before. This is the Uoma Beauty Stay Work Concealer in uh, brown sugar. This is a little more like my skin tone. So I'm just gonna use it to clean the other side. Now that I'm done doing my brows, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids using the Smashbox Lid Primer primer in Medium. This is my first time trying this out. Let's see how it goes. I like it that it has that concealer look to it. Now that we've blended the products, I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Caramel Brown Palette. I actually used the chocolate browns, but I wanted to try this out since I haven't really dabbled with it like that. And I'm just taking a nice brown shade and we're just gonna work that in the transition area. And then we're gonna take the other brown shade, or actually, I think I'm gonna go with this. Or, you know what, just let's go with this uh, second brown shade. I'm gonna 
dabble that and work that at the bottom. Give it a nice orange tinge to it. We'll take this, I don't know if it's a satin shade, and just dab that in the crease. So I placed that brown shade and now I'm just buffing it out with that orangey brown shade that we applied it. I'm not really a fan of the caramels because of that dark brown. I feel like that brown should have been matte. So I, this is all turning out to be a smoky look. So I'm going to take this know what I'm gonna take here the gold and it's a little flaky that gold in the middle this gold color so I'm gonna spray it down so that I can it can actually stick to something so now I'm going into that orange and we're just going to So this is kind of like a, a bronze smoky eye look. This is the best I could come up with this palette. I like the chocolate browns. If I was to compare the two, I think the chocolate browns are much better. The black in here should have just been a straight up matte. It shouldn't have been any kind of satin finish or sh it kind of has like a slight shimmer to it that I totally hate. So now we're gonna go ahead and start with the face. I wanted to try out um, the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. I've heard so many good things about this and I wanted to try it and see what it does to my under eyes. When I apply my foundation or my concealer, I'm just taking one dot and... Uh, this actually kind of fills in my lines. I don't have so much lines, but it kind of erased them. Oh, I like this. Okay. Looks like a good one. And now we're going to use primer. The primer I wanted to try today is the Skin Tube Blur by Fursali. I heard through the grapevine that this was the tea in blurring out the pores. And I wanted to mm, try it out for my own self and see what it's all about. It looks like it actually decreased my pores quite a bit. So now I want to actually go ahead and color correct. I'm taking the MAC Color Correcting Concealer Palette. I think I'm gonna take this little orange shade, put it on my dark circles. I've never tried this before. This is my first time trying it. I just wanna see if I like it. I like this because it's a little creamy. NYX Cosmetics has something similar and it's very hard and this one's a little nice and creamy. I like that about this. I like to put that on my mustache. Now that I'm done color correcting, I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. Now I'm going to take the Huda Beauty, it's the Luminous Matte Foundation and I'm using the shade Cinnamon 440G. This is my first time using this foundation. I actually wasn't trying to use this, but I guess I have no choice. I was trying to use my NARS Radiant Foundation. Because I don't know how this foundation dries, I just want to do one face and then move on to the other. This foundation oxidizes a little fast. I should have gotten a shade lighter. I think I should have gotten 430 or is it, was it 420? It does kind of oxidize. It has like a little reddish hue to it. Yes, I don't like this. But we're gonna fin fix that up. I'm gonna, yeah, I look a little orange. 
my undertone is yellow i don't understand why these brands keep on coming out with orange undertones and i don't really like the foundation it is it says luminous matte but i wish it was really what it says it is because this is more of a matte foundation for someone with oily skin and you guys know that I don't have oily skin. I couldn't find my uh, NARS. I think it's inside my little product bin where I have all my new products. The next video that I do, I'm gonna definitely use that. I don't like this foundation. It's not for me, but now that we have summer, I might just see how it works under uh, a nourishing primer. The primer I used was not the right primer for it. So I probably will try again with something more hydrating and see how that works. It probably would work better. So we're just doing a little highlight action. The concealers that I got that were new actually don't, are like kind of my skin tone. So I'm taking this Beauty Blender. This is actually from Beauty Breakery. I'm just gonna blend out the concealer. taking the Huda Beauty uh, Easy Bake and I'm going to set my under eyes. I am not setting. I don't do baking anymore. I just set it lightly and dust the powder on top of it. And this blondie is my perfect shade. I thought it was going to be too light but it's just perfect for me. What I do is I bake my nose though. But I like to first pat in that powder. So I'm taking a little bit of the powder and like baking my nose. I don't like that the powder has so much heavy fragrance. It's like really a lot of fragrance in there. I'm gonna let that bake for a sec. We're going to go ahead and take the Huda Beauty Tantor Bronzer. I like using this because I can use this to contour with, not necessarily to bronze. But just going to lightly dust that, not too much. And then we're going to take the the bronzed uh, Juvia's Place palette. And the shade that I'm wearing is, I think it's dark right there. And we're going to just, I'm gonna pick the lighter shade here. And we're just gonna lightly bronze the face. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go ahead and dust my nose off. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my brush. I'm gonna use this to like contour my nose, this lighter shade. Just want a slight contour, nothing too crazy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the MAC, I think it's called the Iridescence Loose Powder in Golden Bronze. I've never tried this before, I wanna try it out. I've always wanted to get this, but never ever purchased it. I don't know why, but everybody loves this. I'm taking the Farsali, it's the Rose Gold Skin Mist. And we're just gonna spray, this is my first time spraying it. Mm. Just wanna spray it on my face a little bit before I go ahead and highlight. This is a loose highlighter. So we're just gonna take some of that golden bronze. I'm scared of this highlight, it might be too much. Let's 
done i'm gonna do my blush later but i just want to go ahead and just do my bottom lashes before i forget uh, this eyeliner is from elizabeth mott and just bear in mind that all these products will be listed down below now i'm gonna go back in the caramel palette and we're just gonna take the dark brown right here. I mean, they are like it's like a mid-tone reddish brown. And we're just gonna smoke out that lower lash line with it. And then I'm just gonna add that dark brown to the outer corner. Trying to brush out the edges. We're gonna take some of that golden bronze and like bring it to the inner corners to brighten up those inner corners. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my blush. This is the Blush Volume 1 from Juvia's Place. And we're just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. I'm taking that rosy tone blush. Or maybe I could use the orange. I'm tired of using... Yeah, let's use that orange. Because we're going for like a bronzy... A bronzy look. Their orange looks... Just taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Tan. And we're just going to stamp that on places that we didn't cover with that setting powder. I just love this. I'm just going to take the setting spray again. And the reason I do this is because I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. I'm going to wear these Verlor lashes. I-D-G-A-F. If you know what that means, comment that down below. It, it's obviously a word that I can't see on YouTube, but that's the lashes I'll be wearing. Before I apply my lashes, I will go ahead and put a liquid eyeliner. I actually don't have a specific new one to wear. This has always been my favorite, the NYC liquid liner. gonna be using the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. I've never used this mascara before. Hopefully it's really a good one. So guys, um, as you guys can see, I kind of did not film the lip application and that was an accident on my part. What I actually put on my lips was the Juvia's Place Cola Liner and I also paired that with the Sephora Lip Stories Love Love Lipstick and I used the Sis Lip Gloss from Juvia's Place. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and your love and support is so appreciated. If you love this video and you enjoyed it thoroughly, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it to your friends and if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys again and I will see you in another video. Bye!